during the time that Renaissance was releasing whatever it was, 20 or 30 thousand cases a year, trying to sell them unsuccessfully, the general feedback that they were getting from the media and from the wine industry was suspicious, was basically reject. So the wines were never accepted, cer certainly not as fine wines. There were very few voices in the wine world and in media that were saying, hey guys, this is something really special. Right. But there like, were some. You did get some good press and, and right. those sort of in the know like knew that these were really good wines. I would say that it was a very small minority small. for decades. Matt Kramer right. was one single voice mm -hmm. that in the world of the spectator, for example, that was saying, I mean, this was, he made Renaissance his wine of the year like three times. Wow. I think 91, 95, 97 different wines. They were his wine of the year, hmm. which is saying a lot. Yeah. But he told me early on, the wine specter will never give you high ratings, ever. Because these guys don't get it. They're into it. It's like it, it cannot come on their radar. The style of wine, you the mean? The style yeah. of wine and the, and fact, the story. And the story. Behind it. Yeah. So it was no. It was taboo. No. Um, Anyway, that was, and that characterizes the, the media response because, yes, occasionally there was an isolated article somewhere, but it came and went and, and left no trace. Now, in the last five years, you look online and you find massive pontificating and uh, poetry about the incredible value of Renaissance, Cabernet Sauvignon, and mm -hmm. whatever. So now it's coming that, yes, there is a cult following there of people that think that this is like no other California wine. Um, I don't know if it's like no other California wine, but, you know, I, I had a, an extremely solid wine education. I don't remember if I dwelled on it earlier or not. And I taste wine like a consumer. I don't take any, I mean, I'm proud of my work, but I, I don't take credit for greatness in wine because to me that's the vineyard because there's no greatness other than the vineyard in wine. Right. So to me the best of the Renaissance wines are second to none. And and it's incredible. I feel privileged to be involved in this. Right. And so whether people recognize it or not, I truly don't care that much. I mean, I prefer when people recognize it, of course. But if they don't, they don't. Yeah. They have other things that they get excited about, mm -hmm. and that's good. Okay.